So I got Charlie and uh, Azalea here. Y'all say hi to Karen. Yeah. And so what we're doing is we're showing them they're both in the PPS system. This is actually Azalea's running leg, and we're going to show you how she runs and how good she does it on it in just a second. But basically what is designed here is now we are putting the strut in more of the posterior uh, lateral point. Uh, so we either need it right at the posterior posterior lateral point to not only aid in the deflection and I think you can kind of see that when the person loads it up so the not only is the foot bending on the running leg but also the strut is bending in this fashion going forward and then helping release the energy so if we watch uh, go ahead and Charlie walk down there for us real quick so if we watch Charlie walk with it oh perfect come on back and Charlie can you walk uh, sideways over here so he's able to do that. Perfect. And come on back, Charlie. That's perfect. And then if we watch Azalea, do you mind walking straight down here? So they're both able to utilize the tissue and the loading force being a nidus or tech. So what this allows everything to take place is the muscles here can continue to fire. We're actually suspending the leg with a sleeve just like here and come here Charlie let me show on here and so Charlie's is the same way and so this is attaching to the liner the sleeve is just like a below the knee amputee and we're actually utilizing the weight bearing characteristics and then so what we also do is we're able to increase the size in the front uh, part of the of the neatest articulation because if we didn't do that the tissue would not be able to fire and it would cramp this tissue so what we've been able to see is a tremendous amount of growth uh, in this system as far as the muscles being able to fire and so we can actually take advantage of the loading forces that the person can take on bottom prior to this with the knee disarticulation, we would have to make a socket that not only all the skin tension would go into and pull the tissue, but then as a child grows, then they wouldn't fit in the leg anymore. And so now we're able to allow these sockets to, to grow with the child. We can actually increase the length of them. And the only thing that we see is if the muscles get too big, then we have to change that out. But everything else is pretty good. Azalea, can you put that running leg on? And we can we can watch how fast she can do that. I'll hold that for you. So Azalea is able to just pull the sleeve down. That allows the suspension to come loose. Oh, I'm sorry. I should could have pulled that down for you. Perfect. And then you're able to go down into it. Pull the sleeve back up. That allows the suction to take place. And Azalea, do you want to run down there for us real quick? Oh, <laughs> got to unlock it. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. And come on back. Very good. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Charlie. All right. <laughs>